Hello. How long have you been my sister, Lucy? Oh, let me think. I'm 29 now. When did I have that sex change? Was it before or after yours? How long have you known Lee? I'm sorry, have you been in a car crash or something? All right, then. I won't mince words. I think when it comes to being, you know, that there are certain people, not a million miles from here, who should be told before certain other people, because they're not even blood relatives, whereas certain people are. Well, it's true, you didn't mince your words. You sort of liquefied them. I presume you've been speaking to Lee. This is Mr Snuggles all over again, isn't it? Well, not again, Tim. I was nine. Finding my hamster dead and telling Alison Gately before me. What kind of nine-year-old girl does that? I don't know. What kind of 18-year-old boy buys himself a hamster and calls him Mr Snuggles? Of course, Mum and Dad will need to be told. Oh, you're loving this, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? All your life you've whinged about being the underdog. And now finally you've got the chance to be the blue-eyed boy. I haven't whinged about anything. Carry me, not Lucy. So? I was seven. And I'd been hit by a car. <laughs> your car. Well, if you're not going to say anything, maybe I should tell them about your little package. Tim, the word is pregnant. Don't start swearing at me. And it's my responsibility to tell them, not yours. You need to start growing up, young lady, and acting your age. And spending less time with boys doing... Humpty Pumpty! Oh, look who it is. Bath time Billy and the flannelettes. Shut up. Don't worry, I haven't told her about you doing the unnecessary. It is totally necessary. In fact, it's almost compulsory. You don't know how lucky you are being a woman. Have you any idea what I'm going through? What you're going through? Tim, I'm going to be a father. I'm only 39. If you're from up north, you should be a grandfather by now. There's still things I want to do. Like what? I don't know. Scuba diving. Well, don't worry. You'll still be able to do that with Junior. He's clearly a good swimmer. <laughs> You're going to have to tell her the truth, and soon. There's things that need to be discussed. I know. Like me finding another place to live. It's been mentioned. Yes, and there's going to have to be a conversation about money as well. Don't worry about that. I don't want any handouts. Not for you. <laughs> From you, for the baby. And it won't be cheap. You'll be looking at about £1,000 a month. What's she having? Quads? If you're the father, probably a litter. <laughs> Must be a mistake. I'm allergic to some things. Maybe I had something that contains nuts. I think that's a certainty. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with the test. Maybe it's been contaminated. What with? Pregnant women, we? Well, there must be some explanation. I can't be pregnant. I'm going for a bath. Oh, God. Twins. <laughs> Is this like the sixth sense? Am I the only one that can see you? <laughs> can I ask you something? Where do you want to be in a year from now? I don't know. Over there. <laughs> don't you mean over there? In Lucy's bedroom? <laughs> Think about it. Before all this, you were over there. And now you're here, which is nearer to there. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Do you like role play? Beg your pardon? I just thought maybe to spice up your work life, you could pretend to be a cleaner. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go over there, because it's the furthest point from being here. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want to be with Lucy, what do I care? Go on. Last week, if I'd offered you the opportunity for you and Lucy to be settled down in a cosy relationship with a baby, you would have bitten my hand off. May as well bite them both off. You don't use them. <laughs> Well, you've certainly been using yours, haven't you? Yeah, all right, smart-ass. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be no cosy relationship. I'm getting chucked out. A baby doesn't need its own room for ages. And by then, she'll see how great you are, reading little munchkin bedtime stories, taking it to the park to think you're the bee's knees. And when she does, you'll go all the way from over there... to there. <laughs> now do you get it? Oh, you make a great father. How do you know? I've got a sixth sense. I see dad people. <laughs> You're quiet. I was just... No, don't spoil it. <laughs> I was just thinking about what you said earlier, about my responsibilities. I've decided I'm going to help raise this baby, like a proper father. A proper father? We're not the first people to have a baby outside wedlock, you know. Wedlock? 
You're not even in sex lock. <laughs> it's one thing for a child to be born outside of marriage, it's another for it to be born outside of nature. <laughs> Tim, it'll be fine. Yeah, until the baby starts calling its plastic duck daddy. I believe you convinced me to do this. No, thank you. Please just go about your business. This is like the easiest game of Words Wally I've ever played. Can you try and act like you've been to one of these places before? What would you boys like? Do you do milkshakes? Two lagers. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who it is. Sat there as smooth as an otter in a car wash. <laughs> Let's see him try and wriggle out of this one. Lee, Tim, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting to see the two of you. Like a drink? We're not stopping. Or well, maybe just a half. <laughs> so, what happened to your accounts meeting me, Ronnie? Oh, we've just finished it, actually. Yeah. This is Ronnie. Oh, yeah. And who's that? Reggie. <laughs> so, what does Lucy think about you coming here? I've never really discussed it with her. I bet you haven't. Well, maybe we can tell her for you. Keep her abreast of the situation. <laughs> Seeing as we're such bosom buddies. Yeah, you crafty tit. <laughs> well, you can tell her now, if you like. What are you doing here? Have you been talking to our cleaner? Sorry? You know, about not being able to sit on granite steps. <laughs> Guy asked me to come along to meet his business partner, Ronnie. Guy is one of the owners of this club, didn't you know? No. Anyway, I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. You know these girls are strictly cashly. They don't accept wafers. <laughs> anyway, I've got an early start tomorrow, so uh, I'll leave you boys to have fun. It's not what you think. Really? Yeah, we've just always been really interested in the national dances of Lapland and Poland. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Bye, sweetheart. Well, I think I might use the facilities. The loo, not the... <laughs> I'll, uh... Well, that went well. Where are we off to now? To tell Ali Jones's mum we think he might be a glue sniffer? <laughs> How was I to know him? Can we please just finish these drinks and get out of here? Yeah, it's an awful place, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why these blokes come here. Blimey. You wouldn't let her meet your mother, would you? I don't know. I'd be more worried about my dad meeting her. What are you two doing here? Never mind that. What are you two doing here? <laughs> Did Lucy see them? You? No, I haven't seen anyone. I've literally just walked in. Well, not literally, obviously. I got changed into my gear once I was here. The uniform policy seems pretty relaxed. <laughs> Can I help you? You got a book on fly fishing by J.R. Hartley. <laughs> Why were you really at the club tonight? All right, to be honest, we were checking the place out because Tim said that one day he might want a stag do and we thought... Don't lie. <laughs> if Tim had a stag do, he'd have it at the same place he has his birthday bashes. In the corner of McDonald's with Ronald doing his tricks. <laughs> All right, I saw a guy going into the club and I was checking him out. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't messing you about. All right. I don't know whether to be angry or touched. 
Well, you could be like that blonde lap dancer I got chatting to and be both. <laughs> you don't like him, do you? Come on, I won't take it personally. Such a smoothie. He is, isn't he? Smoothie's not a good thing. Fruit smoothies are. Yeah, well, he's more like a meat smoothie. <laughs> what do you see in him? Well, he's successful and charming and experienced. <laughs> well, that's one word for it, I suppose. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it won't be long before he's in an experienced people zone. <laughs> Getting charity handouts from Help the Experienced. <laughs> I think he looks very good for his age. Yeah, almost lifelike. <laughs> well, you better get used to his lifelike face, because he's asked to move in on a more permanent basis, and I'm considering it. Oh, great. So I've got to put up with his old knackers flapping about in the wind every day. <laughs> if I wanted to see old people naked, I'd watch Debbie Does Eastbourne. Just because he's comfortable in his own skin. Well, when you've been in anything long enough, I suppose it gets comfortable. <laughs> This has nothing to do with Guy's age. This is about spying on someone who's done nothing wrong. <laughs> Apart from owning a seedy little strip joint. It's called a gentleman's club. Oh, is that right? Madam, forgive me for being so bold, but for satisfactory recompense, will you get your tits out? <laughs> anyway, you wouldn't be so blasé if you knew the type of women he was employing. What does that mean? Nothing. I've been sworn to secrecy. <laughs> it involves Tim, and I don't want to embarrass him. Oh, come on. Tim's my big brother. There's nothing you could say that would make me think less of him. You idiot. <laughs> so have you seen her since? Of course. We went back to mine and talked about it. Oh, so you're allowed to take them home, are you? I thought she might be like the reference section. You know, browsing only. <laughs> Please tell me you're not going to be seeing more of her. If that's possible. Of course I am. Oh, Tim. What? What do you think Mum and Dad will say? I don't care. Yes, you do. You dumped one girl because Dad thought she looked a bit French. I'm not scared of Dad. I'll look him in the eye and tell him the truth. This is Rosie. She works in a library. Oh, so the library thing's real, is it? I thought that was just part of the facade. She's not an undercover agent. Oh, yeah? You sure she's not undercovers? Beg your pardon? Well, sometimes jobs like lap dancing can lead to other offers. Oh, Tim, don't be so naive. I'm not the naive one. Just because a woman is paid to perform exotic dancing doesn't mean she's the type of person who would be happy to accept money to be a spy. <laughs> it's bad enough having to empty my savings account, but can you at least stop holding it like you're advertising a Sun Bingo promotion? <laughs> Just act cool. It's all about bravado and confidence. These are our streets. We know every alleyway like the back of our hands. Go right on the roundabout. <laughs> Maybe lose the sat now. And the National Trust membership sticker. And the Rolf Harris CD. And the Tartan travel rod. All right, pimp my ride, why don't you? You watch Pimp My Ride. I record it and watch it backwards. I love seeing those vulgar cars restored to their original condition. <laughs> Great. I don't even have to get out of the car. <laughs> Big Mac, chicken nuggets and fries, please. <laughs> Just trying to lighten the mood. We normally get our drugs from Boots. I don't sell drugs. I beg your pardon? That would be illegal, officer. Do you really think if we were coppers, I'd let him open his mouth? Well, you don't look like the type of geezers who buy drugs. I was taking drugs before you were born. Same as your mum, by the look of it. <laughs> I've done them all, me, mate. E's, G's, B's, knees. <laughs> snap, crackle, poppers, hobnobs, crystal tips, acid drops, reefers, roofers, joiners, speed, speed two, Charlie, Brown, Snoopy, Droopy, Fred Bassett, uppers, downers, frowners, Frosties. Frosties? Yeah. Good shit is Frosties. 50% crack, 50% tiger's foot. They're grrr. Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell me you've never heard of Frosties. Call yourself a dealer? Yeah. Yeah, of course I've heard of them. 
Is that what you're after? Not today, thanks. Just approximately half a kilo of powdered cocaine if it's not too much trouble, young man. <laughs> right here. What? It's like watching an episode of The Wire starring Derek Nimmo. <laughs> Lee, I think we're being followed. Don't be stupid. I think it's an unmarked police car. How'd you know? It doesn't say police on it anywhere. <laughs> Actually, it could be the butcher. Maybe it's one of those gangster cars with a load of weapons and hookers and a jacuzzi in the back. What kind of car is it? Powder blue 1.4 Nissan Micra. <laughs> what? You think I watch too many gangster films? No, I don't think you watch enough. <laughs> Oh, seriously, there is someone following us. Maybe I should pull over. What? Put your foot down. All right, I insist we pull over. <laughs> Just step on it, now. OK, let's do this. Sit back, tighten your seatbelt, and let's crank that stereo good and loud. Two little boys had two little toys. When we were two little boys... I think we lost them. You all right? I'm fine. It's just that bit where he goes back for him on the horse. <laughs> it always gets me. Well, this is the address. Larry Stubbs, butcher and poulterer. Well, there's a glimmer of hope. Maybe he'll just poulter us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Larry. The butcher stops. Well, well, well. You must be Timothy Gladstone Adams. You've got balls showing up here. Unless, of course, you brought along some dope. Hello. <laughs> I think we've got something of yours. It's a nice place you've got here. <laughs> yeah. If I was a cow, this is where I'd want to be butchered. <laughs> Honestly, it was a complete accident. You see, I took your coat home thinking it was mine. Shh. Be a good little boy. You don't want Daddy to have to give you a slap, do you? You're not going to tell my dad, are you? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's your drugs. This is washing powder. Come on, you can't tell that just by looking at it. <laughs> OK, that does look a little bit like washing powder. Yeah, I use that stuff. It's pretty good shit. <laughs> oh, look. And you've even written me a little note. Have we? Wash your mouth out, tosser. No one slags off my mum. I don't remember slagging off your mum. You didn't. Have you any idea what I'm going to do to you, you sons of bitches? Well, strictly speaking, you're now slagging off both. Not now, to... <laughs> Right. You think you're hard, do you? Just remember, there's two of us and only one of you. So if you want to rumble, bring on the thunder, little man, and see how far it gets you. <laughs> that kind of thing work when Steven Seagal says it? <laughs> Come on, mate. Let us go, please. Sorry, boys. I've got a reputation to think of. This is my manner, see? I don't know where your manners are. He did say please. <laughs> he means manner, as into the manner born, you pillock. <laughs> That's right, and I'm f***ing that it be key. <laughs> Does Peter Bowles know about this? Did you hear that? See, I said we were being followed. It must be the police. Oh, thank God. What are you talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about, sunshine. We're talking about old Bill walking through that door and serving you up some cold porridge. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Powder blue Nissan Micra. I could kick myself. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> Bit rude. I followed you, Tim. I wanted to know if your involvement with drugs was getting out of hand. 
<laughs> Wilton, is it getting out of hand? You come here on your own, sweetheart. Yes. Yeah, but I bet you phoned the police and told them where we are, didn't you? But when I came round to your flat, you made me promise... Yeah, never mind that, Daisy. Just remember, <laughs> if you tell us that you did phone the police and that they're on their way, this man will have no choice but to let us all go home. Do you understand? Yes. That is what will happen if you tell us you phoned the police. Right. Now, did you phone the police? No. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to need another meat hook. Freeze! <laughs> I think you should untie them, don't you? I'll tell you what I think. I think a nice girl like you doesn't know how to work one of those. Actually, that is very true. That's why I was returning it. It keeps going off accidentally. <laughs> Sorry, which ones did I do? Never mind him, Daisy, just untie us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. 